Good morning guys and welcome back to the channel. Uh, so today's a pretty exciting day. Now if you've been following my Instagram account, I'll be put, it's all down in the description. Or if you have uh, been following my Facebook account, you will know that for the last few weeks now, I've been uh, building a bow and uh, it's done. So there it is. Now, I had no real intentions of showing the build process of this, seeing as this was my first bow. Um, if you guys definitely do want to see a build, I am going to be building Olivia her first bow. So, just put down in the comments if you guys are interested in seeing the bow build, and I'll actually go, go through the steps that I go through. Um, I've also, I also made the, the string myself. Uh, it's an 18 strand Flemish, Flemish twist string. Uh, I didn't put any serving, I just made it thick enough so it could handle my arrow knocks. And uh, yeah, so the bow itself is a red oak board and you can pick these up at, at any hardware store. But the biggest thing you want to look for when you do pick out a board is you want it to be nice straight grain all the way from one end to the other with no real runoffs. Uh, a little bit of runoffs, not too bad, especially if you're going to be backing the bow. And then this is also a piece of red oak that I use for, for my handle riser. And then I actually I put a piece of white oak on the other side just to give a, a little bit of handle thickness here. <coughs> so, um, I did make a couple mistakes and I did have to cut this bow a little bit shorter than I wanted to. I made my handle section a little bit longer than I wanted to. Um, but it does pull at 50 pounds at 27 in inches of draw. So this could be used for hunting. I don't know how long this bow is going to last, um, but if I do get a, a few hundred arrows out of it, I'm going to be using a piece of rawhide to back it. I just don't want to waste rawhide on my first bow if it's just going to break right away. Now, before we shoot it, I want to show you guys uh, the tillering tree I built and the tools that I used to build this bow. So let's head into the garage. All right, so we're gonna start off with the tools that I've that I used. Um, basically, oh, you know what? I'm missing something. If you guys have uh, seen the video I just posted today, you'll see that this was actually the first tool that I used, and this is what I got the majority of the big material off. Then I used my draw knife, and that got a lot of a lot of the weight out of the wood. After that, I was using um, this very coarse um, rasp. Uh, a lot of guys will use a farrier's rasp. This is a nice, uh, high quality Nicholson file. And then I also had a, a less aggressive uh, rasp that also has a pretty uh, coarse side on this side. And then I used this one very coarse and it also has a round and that helped around the, the handle section. And for all the finishing work, um, I use a cabinet scraper or also known as a card scraper. And I actually I actually didn't put I use any sandpaper on the boat at all. These are basically all the tools that I use to build that boat. Now, I also had to build something uh, just to help me with the tilling process now what the tilling process is, is basically you're you're removing materials from the limbs to, to make it uh, bend to your target draw weight but you don't want to be taking off too much material at once um, you got to kind of do it in steps and you got to constantly bend the bow just to train that wood uh, into be able to bend and shoot arrows so here's my tillering tree very very basic basically my bow will sit right in here I got you know how many inches because you, obviously you're pulling down uh, the inches of draw plus I got a scale to tell me my draw weight and then you know you can see I got a handle with a string and I just pulls on my string very basic and uh, yeah now as for my bowstring, this is what I got, this is what I used, it, honestly it's like a cheap dark Dacron from uh, Amazon, uh, I didn't want to buy expensive stuff until I really got the just of uh, 
you know spitting up uh, a bowstring but anyways so yeah so there it is uh now let's go get set up outside and i guess we'll put some arrows down range and uh hopefully uh the bow sticks together well before we get these arrows down range i just wanted to share with you guys what kind of bow this is because i haven't mentioned that yet but this is a pyramid style flat bow as you can kind of see uh it tapers out to these ends and then and then from here it tapers right to your tips so that gives you a lot of strength and a lot of speed in the in the limbs so there she is all strung up it's a good little brace height i don't want it too high just so i don't want to lose some power but uh yeah let's get a couple arrows down here <laughs> oh that's fast that's way faster than those P pvc bows Ooh, that's snappy I like that so so there you go like I said just need basic tools and really just some patience took me probably about 13 hours to build this but really really happy with the results uh, I might be uh, wrapping the handle in some rabbit leather might even do a little arrow rest uh, but for now I'm just gonna shoot it like that well anyways I hope you guys like this video like I said, it wasn't a, a detailed build, but I want to show you guys this bow. Uh, I've been talking about it quite a bit on my Instagram and stuff. So, as you can see, it still shoots. So, we'll see after 300 arrows where she's at. And uh, if she's still shooting good, like I said, we're going to attach some rawhide to the back side of this. We'll strengthen it up, and this will be my hunting bow. But, uh, thanks again, guys. And uh, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe down at the bottom. We'll catch you guys on the next one.